GoClass is an interactive iPad application that allows a teacher to create lesson plans and then present them to your students in a very unique way. You are able to upload and create your lessons using either JPEG files, PDFs, PowerPoints, video clips as well. You can also send them to various websites that students have the ability to take a look at. You can set certain time limits on these videos and pages so the students are only able to look them at a set amount of time. You can also add additional explanations and even ask questions as you go. Taking a look at how the app is going to look on the iPad, the black iPad is actually the teacher's version and the white iPad is the students. We're going to take a look at a, the demo session. Students do need to have an email address on this, however when you set up your students you can have an email address that actually does not exist as long as you remember to have the passwords which need to be at least eight characters in length. Once you have all your students ready to start, you simply select Start Broadcast and immediately it will send the picture of whatever is on the teacher screen to the students. If you go to full screen mode, you actually have the ability to annotate over the JPEGs. Currently, they don't have the option to be able to annotate over video and PDF and various other files. When you are using a media file, they actually set up where they will not send this to the student iPad, you'll actually be able to present this um, using your projector or if you're using a reflector or anything along those lines. Um, so you won't be able to actually start broadcasting it. When you're ready to ask students questions, you can set up the multiple choice questions as well. Again, once again, start the broadcast to have the students actually see it. The nice thing about this, they can actually answer the question and you can currently see the responses, whether they are correct or not. Here's actually an example of how a PDF file or web document might look. Students can go full screen and they can scroll and find exactly what they're looking for. Again, this would be a really handy feature to be able to annotate over this. But currently, we have a lot of plans in the near future to be able to update some of these, so possibly that's something that's going to be looked into. The last page on this video is actually a YouTube website. So it is media. However, because it's a website, students are able to access it exactly like they need to, so this might be an independent video that they are going to need to answer, and then you can ask questions at the very end. Uh, Go Class seems to be a very good tool for be able to use as a one-to-one -one classroom setting, uh, where the teachers take a little bit of time creating those lesson plans on the websites. A really benefit is be able to simply upload your PowerPoints already, or another option to be able to annotate over those PowerPoints would be to making the PowerPoints into JPEG files to be able to upload. Uh, the upload size to JPEGs along with various files is 500 kilobytes, which is kind of limited, especially when you're looking at some of the high quality pictures you may want to be uploading. But still, GoClass does seem to be a very useful tool in the arsenal for a teacher.